Hey guys, so today is the first day I can actually, of the year, look at my bees, so that's really nice. I'm going to be able to take out all the different frames and have a good look at the, the brood, which is really important because I want to make sure that there's no diseases. If I can catch the diseases of, uh, of the bees now, then it means that they won't spread, you know, during the, you know, the coming year. Um, it's very important to make sure that you don't open a hive or rather, you know, take out frames until the temperature is above 15 degrees Celsius. And I just checked and it's, it's there So now. guys, I'm here now with the bees and we're going to basically have a good look at them now. I'm going to show you now how to smoke them, open the hive without actually disturbing them too much. Um, I have my smoker well lit as well. Now the next step is to basically um, just smoke your bees so that they kind of um, calm down a bit because what they do is they fill themselves up with honey. And so all you do is you don't blast the smoke into the entrance full on. What you do is you just kind of let it pass by the entrance because they have a very good sense of smell and they can kind of, they will get it, you know, um, and they will start filling themselves up with honey. And then you usually just wait for maybe, you know, half a minute or so. So the first thing you would do is you would just take off the roof very, very slowly, very gently. You try not to knock anything. You want to kind of keep the bees calm. You turn it upside down, put it on the ground level. And then what you do is um, you take off the crown board. You see, I still have the insulation from the from the winter. Uh, you very gently go on each side. To break the seal. And that's usually just a propolis, you know. I still have some supers here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two supers off and um, I left them on to feed the bees. And then what you do is you give it a nice little, little puff. This is very, very small and I'm just kind of curious now why is it so small? Um, it could be due to diseases because it was fairly big when it went into the winter. So we'll have a quick look. So what you do is you just prise apart these. Now and then again you give it another puff. Because what you have is the bees will start coming up and when you start seeing their heads that's kind of when you want to start smoking them because they tend to be the ones that actually attack you know So make sure when you're handling the bees, you know, they're just coming up again, so just very gently pop them down again. So make sure when you're handling bees that you always keep the frame above the brew box itself, and that's you're doing that because you don't want to lose a queen. And that's interesting. That is very interesting. So obviously the reason this, this colony is actually uh, quite small is because of queen loss, or supersedure rather. Um, what I'm finding here is I'm finding a supersedure queen cell or emergency queen cell. So let me just show you. Actually, a bit of, there's a small larvae in this, which is basically a queen, and you can see the bee going in there now, basically wanting to kind of protect it, heat it up a bit. So I'm going to be very quick. I'm going to put it back straight away. Um, so that's basically. A new queen, you know? So now I'm just a quick quick one more tiny look just to see if there's any kind of if I can find the queen maybe or perhaps um 
I think actually what happened is the Queen died, by the looks of it. Um, another thing I have to quickly do is I have to check for fowl brood because I see a few cells there that are looking a bit brown. So I just get a little stick and I just poke it into the dead queen, uh, dead um, worker bee cells and I just twirl it around a bit and just pull it out. But actually what it is is a little bit of chalk brood. Yeah. So that's not so bad. That's not very serious at all. Now, number one down, and we'll get to um, number 17 soon, hopefully by today. So just to quickly explain about the, the queen cell that I found there, I'm, I'm not going to basically rip down all the queen cells and just leave one. We'll get into that more in detail in, in future videos. But, but just what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in two days and I'm going to really look at um, how that queen cell is progressing and just make sure that... Um, you know it's doing well. Um, I'm also going to have a look at finding the queen as well um, and things like that. It's just because I'm doing this with the camera now today I don't want to uh, spend too much time on you know sorting out this hive. Um, I want to show you a kind of a broader you know different things about diseases and, okay, and so, so on. So you, you know? can see um, this is the super now that I left on the hive. It's basically all the cells are pretty empty now so the, they had plenty of food. They've, they've used it up um, because I had a kind of a dividing sheet in between, so they didn't really go up into into the super. They stayed down in the brood chamber. Now I'm after smoking this hive now. And again, the same applies. You just take off the roof ever so gently. Get my hive to it. There's a bit of a drizzle now, a bit of rain, so what I would say is what we're going to do is we're going to wait until the rain actually stops. It's, it's only a slight drizzle, so uh, it's just going to blow over. And um, I think that's a good thing as well, you know, if you're beekeeping as well, don't open your hive when it's actually raining because they get really, really aggressive. So we just wait. Um, I'll be back in a second. Alright, okay. back again. So it's nice and sunny, so I'll pop it again, just quickly. Down. Now remember I'm looking for disease. I don't really have to even bother looking at the first or maybe the second frame. I just have to be very careful not to hurt any of them. Oh, I'm just starting to come up again, so I just come over the smoke. So, there we go. I don't know if you can see that patch there. So that's our brood. There's a little bee hatching right now. I'll get you to have a nice good look at it. So far I can't really see any diseases. What I am seeing though is a nice brood pattern. Remember again, hold your frame above the the brood chamber. Can you see the little bee coming out there? And if you can see inside the cells, you can see also the eggs and the, the larvae at the different stages. It's very nice. It's very unlikely for a colony like this to be actually starting to prepare for swarming. So um, we'll get into swarming a bit later on. But um, uh, yeah. So very healthy looking colony. Okay, so I've seen enough now and the bees are getting a bit more agitated now so what I want to do is we close the whole thing up a bit and uh, be gentle but be uh, mm -hmm. kind of quick. It's kind of difficult with beekeeping because what you have to do is you have to kind of move slowly whilst at the same time not waste too much time you know. Mm. 
Now this is what a big hive is going to look like. Uh, we're going to have a look at a nice big hive just to get a feel for it. Um, again, don't spend too much time on your on your bees this time of the year. Just have a look. Make sure that they they kind of have a queen, so you're looking for eggs. Um, make sure that there's no diseases, and then just you know get out of there, like because you really want to not to disturb them too much. Now, so we just gently take off the the roof. We can turn it upside down for our super, because we have a super here. So you can see there now that the, the super was connecting with the top frames, so we're going to have to clean that up a bit. That's the first job. Um, but I'll just have a quick look first. skip a couple of frames because I know that the queen is it's very unlikely that the queen will be in here hence the brood will not be in there you know and it's quite possible that the, the queen is actually in here so that's why I put it on an upside down roof because the queen really is the most important thing in a hive the brood nest is about three or four frames tall. You can see it's finishing here, which kind of indicates that it probably goes into the super as well. Now, I don't know if the wind is making a bit of a difference to the, the camera. It certainly is making a difference to the bees. They get a little bit more agitated if there's wind or... I mean, look at that brood pattern there. And Queen has basically laid eggs all in here, which is quite nice. I don't see any brood disease or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. So I'll push back into place. The last frame. In. Hey guys, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the clip and I'm going to have my lunch now which is a bit of uh, honey and a bit of pollen and a bit of uh, natural chewing gum which is the wax, you know, which is kind of nice. So um, yeah, I hope to see you next week, alright?